We are playing Catan, Seafarer's Expansion, Scenario 6, Cloth for Catan. So you'll need all the pieces on the table. The extender pieces are two doubles. You'll need 18 water hexes. The harbors that you'll need is all five two-to-ones and four three-to-ones. There are Catan chips. They are not victory points in this game. They are cloth. And every two cloth is equal to one victory point. So we're going to go ahead and set up the board and we'll explain a little bit more once the board is set up. So this is how the board is set up for cloth for Catan. There are specific numbers. So the three goes here. Six. Eight. Eleven. Five. Four. 10, 9. So each of those numbers is a village. Each village has cloth. So that is the Catan chits here. Each village gets five cloth. So you put them in piles of five beside each number. You cannot build on the deserts or the gold mines. You may only build on the left and right main islands. So the way that cloth for Catan works is you use your ships to create a shipping route that connects to one of the villages, like this. As soon as your ship touches the village, you get one cloth. Remember, two cloth is equal to one victory point. After you have established this shipping route, every time a three is rolled, you get another cloth. There may be more than one shipping route at the same village. If that's the case, every time a three is rolled, each player would get a cloth. Now if a three is rolled again, there's only one left. You would take one chit from the general supply, hand them out equally, but next time a three is rolled, there is no more cloth to be chosen. So it's kind of a, a dead root at this point. You cannot move your boats afterwards because these villages are one of, they're basically one of your pieces. So that is a closed route.
In this scenario also, you can use the robber or the pirate ship. You may only choose the pirate ship if you have an established shipping route to one of the villages. So in this scenario, blue and orange, or blue and red can move the pirate ship, but orange cannot. Now, if I am blue and I choose to move the pirate to right here, because there is a red ship, I may choose to steal a resource card from red, or I can steal one of his cloths. You may not steal cloths with the robber, only the pirate ship. The other big difference is the longest road. So, going back to Settlers of Catan, the longest road is only achievable with real roads. The ships and the shipping routes do not count towards the longest road. The harbors, we haven't placed the harbors yet, are placed randomly in these locations. Here, 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 there, here, 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 and here. So I'm going to restack the cloth that I took off. In this scenario, you place three settlements instead of only two. So the way it's going to work, so we've already rolled. Mom is going to go first. Then Ryder. Then Lily will place twice. Then Ryder. Then Mum will place twice. Then Ryder. And lastly, Lily. So that is the order that you will place three settlements. So this game goes up to 14 victory points. Let's see who wins.
So blue one, mum one. Yes. I don't win often, so when I win, it's like a big thing. It's a big deal. Now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And that's how you play Scenario 6, Cloth for Catan in the Seafarers expansion. Keep playing and have fun.